<laughs> and that came up from your first experience, though. What's it mean to win your first game? Oh, the it's Champions? unbelievable, Dan. You know, uh, I suppose people talk about the crowd and all that. You know, for me, um, but I have to be selfish and all the rest. You know, uh, I'm, I'm disappointed the family's not here. You know what I mean? I'm lucky enough my wife's here, but uh, at the start of every year, uh, I make a promise to. Uh, wife and three children. Um, if I get to the World Championships, we're all going. Um, that has been the way it has been. You know what I mean? They've, they've come here, uh, well, they've come here the last four years or whatever. Uh, big, big disappointments. You know what I mean? Uh, the biggest thing for me is, jeez, uh, um, that, that Emer's here, thankfully, but uh, my two boys and my daughter's not able to witness it. Like you know, it, it's a brilliant feeling. You know, and they're going through all the motions. Uh, they get all the stick. I can, I can suck a lot of things up and the kind of things that what happens whenever you get beaten. All you know what I mean. But they're not prepared for all them situations. You know what I mean. Uh, I can get over it and I can thrust myself down and go and play, play an eye game, but from them, from from their point of view, they're always stuck where their daddy was beating the world championship, you know what I mean? Going to school uh, in January or whatever, you know, so just to, that's the disappointing thing here, that they're not here to just uh, bounce off that stage and give the old lad a hug. Mickey, the William, Hill, the William Hill World Darts Championship is broadcast live all around the world. They'll have been watching, everyone have been watching. That is a win for the ages. That's a massive moment in your career, in your life, isn't it? Well, you know, it was more for them, you know what I mean? As I say, I was so, I've put so much effort, I've put so much effort in every year, but this year I just thought, you know, look, everybody knows the record here and, uh, the record, you can't change it unless you get back here. You know what I mean? And I'm, I'm very proud of myself of of continuously getting back here and trying to improve it. Look, it's easy to walk away from the whole thing and say, you were here four times, you were here five times, you never won a game in the World Championship. Uh, you know, that, that's... that's uh, that was just not how I perceived my career, you know. Started the start of the year, and I walked in here the door of the day, and I thought to myself, I played the Players' Championship at the start of the year. I was the first person to do a nine darter at the start of the year in the PDC. You got a publicity for half an hour, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but you know. So why end the year on a on a defeat? You know what I mean. Why end the year on defeat? You know? um, why not go for it? You know what I mean. And and, and give family and all what they deserve. You know. And thankfully, of that's what's happened today. Not over yet, Mickey. No, Ricky it's not Evans over. No, next. definitely. And if you won that, and you could win that. You've been in before. No, it's not the, the, that. The whole thing's about winning the first. You know, I, I, look, Don. The, the draws have opened up big time. Oh man, the last two years I've been sitting thinking. Possibly, you can't think a way ahead of yourself, but you can. You know how the how things progress or whatever. Have it's massive opportunities that if I had won my first game, I personally am not taken away against any of the players in the draw or whatever, but in how I had been, how I had played against them players before in the tour and all, I had been odds on. But the problem is, I didn't win the first game, so that's out the window. So there's no point. I was never ever. I know Ricky's there, and I know who's there, and who's the next one, and, and all that crack. But that's not worth salt unless you win your first game, and and that was a massive, massive uh, thing today, which also wanted. I was focusing so much on on just winning the first game, and and thankfully, you know, I feel more comfortable now. And look, I'm on a winning streak. I've been on a losing streak, and now I'm on a winning streak. Congratulations, thank you. Thanks, Tom.
Mickey, just touching on what you said there to Dan about the record, when you drive up here for today, do you think, oh no, here we go again, and does it blow your mind, that record leading into the game? Um, uh, I don't know where the record, uh, the record was probably, yeah, there's no, there's no point in saying any different, but uh, I think it was more to do with the performances, more than than the record, you know what I mean? Uh, it just, just hadn't performed, you know. 2018 was massive, like, you know, it was a big, uh, I would say, uh, that defeat, jeez, probably in everything I've known after, so, um, that, that, I know by his own bit of mental health and all this crack here, but 2018 really was was a massive, massive sucker punch. Like you know, as I say, Preston Ridd was. I hadn't. I was more expectation coming the first year. The second year, I played Phil. He went on to win it. Uh, played Kim the next year. Went on to play in the Premier League. And uh, uh, played Jim. Lo you know, that was. Jesus, that was a complete nightmare. And then, I say, everything that come on, what happened after that, uh, had, a, had an effect on me for a long, long, long time. Not not just the losing, but everybody knows the situation with the PDC, the DRA, and all that crack. Like, you know, that, that had a massive uh, effect. And I wanted, last year, I wanted to prove that I could get back. And probably last year, I was trying too hard till I uh, right or wrong and I got caught up in all that uh, where this year definitely totally different that can't look at it and what happened or whatever um, it's about improvement you know. I've seen you play on the home tour recently as well has that practice been good for you playing tour card holders in competitive env environment in the lead up to the world championship? Yeah I have to think you know uh, as I say uh, um, uh, the, the home the fair play to the PDC, you know what I mean? It, it was brilliant, you know, it gave everybody an opportunity uh, that put their hand up and said they want to. Uh, it, it's very hard to practice and prepare uh, without games, but the home tour gave you that sort of an edge. You knew you were going to play against the, the, the quality, top, the best players in the world, you know, So and everybody's preparing the exact same for that, that one day. So, as I say, it was a big even. I know I lost out on the on the uh, on the final stay by uh, I think legs count back or whatever. And um, the last day probably my averages wasn't that good. But the thing that I that I liked about myself was I'd won five games on a on a battle. I'd, you know what I mean? It you know, it'd give me that sort of hardened edge sort of thing. You know what I mean? It was, it was like coming here today. It, it, you got to wipe averages out the window. You know, from my perspective, uh, um, on my record or whatever, it's not about trying to, all right, I don't want to do 100 average, you don't want to do 105, or, you know, you want to win. And, and, and that gave me the hard age of, I'd won five games, I lost the last game uh, to John Henderson. Um, so I knew the hard age was there of battling things out, you know what I mean? Uh, and say I only lost one green, uh, game in the group. Um, and had one joint come joint second in another group, so I, I do think you know fair play to the PDC. It, it was brilliant. I have to say so it's some players don't agree with it or whatever, but it, on the, in this old circumstances, if if I wasn't playing uh, PDC darts, I would be searching around home playing uh, tournament darts uh, and trying to go to the tournament week in week out or whatever to give you that sort of an edge, which. No, he's not there, you know, but uh, definitely have to think the home tour uh, gives every player that opportunity and, and gives an, and something to practice for, which is, which is brilliant, you know. Mickey, congratulations. Thanks very much. All right. Thank you. Mickey, do you think today's win somewhat um, eradicates the, the, the memories of the previous few years? I don't know where it eradicated. It just it was more proven to myself. It's not, you know, as I say, I don't need to prove anything to anybody. Um, it's just about belief in myself. Uh, I say I got off to a bad start against Preston. And 
had Phil and had Kim, and as I say, 2018 killed me. I have to say, I wasn't. A, for me, after winning the Players' Championship, I think I beat Gary Anderson in uh, the Players' Championship. All the cards is my favour coming to here, and uh, it didn't happen. And the, the consequences of that after uh, was, Jesus, as I say, six months, probably eight months or whatever. Uh, and that's, that's the big thing about my family lived with that there, you know what I mean? The fans of that didn't live with that whole situation. I had to put up with, as I say, that's why I'm, I'm so pleased with myself. Uh, I sucked it up. I can you know, see easy to throw in the towel and say, why bother? Why, you know, why any more? We've, we've done this five times, but every January I, I write out a, a scenario of goals or whatever. And uh, thankfully this year, they're all the majority of them that's possible to be teched. Uh, I've taken them, so I have. Thank you very much, and uh, best of luck against Ricky. Thank you.